theoretical physics community is the intellectual version of SEAL Team 6, and our underfunding of theoretical physics is a tragedy. And it's in part what causes the community to be uh, unspeakably beastly to, to not only each other, but to outsiders. Right, they're fighting over the crumbs of this, crumbs of this uh, cookie that's shriveling up. But what, well, you guys need more money. You've struck the world's worst licensing deal. Somebody's got to defend the theoretical physics community because you're not allowed to license what you've contributed to the world. And therefore, you can't, you know, if everybody had to pay for every semiconductor instruction or every URL. Uh, right. Every email ever sent. Or every, every, all the protection that came from the hydrogen bombs and lives that were saved to America by being able to end the world, whatever it is. It's enormous. It's enormous. The theoretical physics community should never have to beg for another dime. But they should. The ought from is, though, Eric. How do you actually, what are you going to, are we going to apply a well, tax? I made this point. You call them taxpayer dollars. I'm not a physicist. Those are mm -hmm. Dollars for the most part. The extent to which the modern economy is built on physics, whether it's communications or computation or, or protection or, or, or chemistry or whatever. Let's be clear. They're physics dollars. And we had a licensing deal. And you guys welch, you, the general public welch, the taxpayer welch, don't bug, bug me about your taxpayer dollars. You, you guys are the beneficiaries of the best deal in history. Shut up on the theoretical physics community. Yes, they're horrible. Yes, they're failing. Mm -hmm. Not doing their job. Yes, they're lying to you. Start paying them. They will be much better. They'll still not be perfect. They're arrogant because there's a reason for the arrogance. I don't hear anyone else saying anything remotely like what I'm saying. And I try to be fair.